Hey, Anatomy. Uh, welcome to, uh, what day is this? This is supposed to be Wednesday, April 8th. Um, we are going to finish off our chapter on the special senses. Uh, one chapter closer to reproduction. I know you're excited. I know I'm worried. <laughs> so we'll figure it out. Um, or I'll figure it out. And you all will giggle and laugh at me because of the things that I've chosen to do. So, yep, it's going to be awkward. Really glad I get to do this on video. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so enough about that. Let's move on. So uh, we are going to finish this chapter and then tomorrow we're actually doing lab. So I came up with some things to do around your house with lab and we will kind of talk about that in the end. And uh, well, let's just start. Okay, so let me share my screen. Um, so again, today is Wednesday, uh, April 8th. Remember to go to RenWeb to look at how things are going, um, how, what things are assigned in, in the Google Classroom or where you're gonna find things. Don't just spend time in the Google Classroom because it doesn't have all the information you need. Um, remember to be at the Q&A. We're still missing some of you. Uh, I know uh, it's been a little weird with the uh, passwords, but hopefully we've got that figured out. I'll see you at 12.30 today and clean any assignments in the classroom. If you need any help, give me uh, an email and I will do my best to help you. Okay, make sure you have all of these things, just the highlighters because we're still highlighting. All right, so we, we have what we have been talking about or yesterday was the tongue and or actually we were talking about um, we ended with the tongue we were talking about um, the sense of smell and the olfactory nerve and how all that works um, we're going to focus on the tongue today and everything about it and why you taste some things one way taste some things another and so uh, Let's see, so we talked about taste buds, and you see taste buds, they're right here, and they're this little bitty packet right here, and then we're gonna make it bigger over here, and so this is what it actually looks like with the, the um, taste buds uh, dangling, kind of like the olfactory senses, and then they pick up the information and send it to the brain, and you go, hmm, that tastes sour, ooh, that tastes bitter, I should spit that out, which is why mostly bitter is around. Um, so we'll talk about that more in just a second. All right, so again, uh, we've talked about the different parts of the, or different taste buds of the tongue, the filiform, the pillae, which um, you've got a lot of those around. They make up the texture of your tongue to help. Um, they don't have taste buds in them. They help kind of uh, swish out and clean out tastes um, from the tongue. And then we've got the fungiform, papillae and they're kind of shaped like a mushroom and they do have taste buds in them and so um, you're going to find a lot of them the tip of the tongue and around which is why a lot you know at, at first there was a though this is why we only taste salty right here but what we talked about already that your taste buds taste a lot of things um, some of them taste all five different tastes um, and some of them are very specific but you know and a lot of it is some of your tasting and whether you're more sensitive or less sensitive to things um, is genetics, um, different shapes of the gum, uh, the tongue, and if they've got like, well, um, deep indentations in them, usually, oh man, I meant to write that down what it was called. It's something specific. One of the Try Guys has that and he cannot handle spicy at all. And that's how I learned. I was like, oh, I did not, I did not know that. So, hmm. It was interesting because he can't handle any spicy. I can, um, but I, and a lot of it is kind of getting used to it as well. So anyway, let's move on to, um, we're going to move on to this type of papillae. So little b was fungiform papillae. We had three things underneath it. Little c is foliate papillae, like foliage, which it says it was shaped like a leaf. I guess I can kind of see it. I didn't really see it. I don't know, maybe it looks more like a leaf to you. Anyway, but that's why it's named that. So once you write foliate papillae, I want you to take your main highlighter and highlight it. And then you're gonna write number one with a parenthesis and write sides and borders of tongue, sides and borders of tongue. And you can see here's right here and the sides and the border of the tongue, really on the back right there. 
Um, number two, they contain taste buds, which means you use them to taste. Contain taste buds. Number three, leaf shaped. Leaf, L-E-A-F, leaf, leaf shaped. Okay, and so here it is, and I guess it's leaf shaped, but kind of right now it looks like something covered in chocolate. That sounds really good, something, you know, strawberry. Paper bag covered in chocolate. I don't know anything covered in chocolate tastes, tastes good, so. Oh, the boredom is set in. Okay, so <laughs> that is the fo foliate papilla. Sorry, I'm off on a tangent. I'm off somewhere, right, Jenna? Jenna's probably quietly sitting there going, yeah, I get it. Me too, right? Me, you, and the green dot. All right, um, little D, let's go on to the next one. It's called um, circumvallate. Oh my goodness, circumvallate papillae. Okay, and so circum deals like, like um, circumference and circular. And so you're gonna see why it's called that in just a second. Um, but they form this, this back of the tongue, this feel like if you look at your tongue, you can kind of see it. This is kind of pronounced so that it's easier to see. Um, and so if we look at it here on this more cartoonish picture, you see them in the back. And if you look at your tongue, they're not that pronounced, but um, some of you it might be. Anyway, um, let's, um, once you write that, let's circum, circum, uh, circumvallate papillae. Take your main highlighter and highlight that. And then write one with a parenthesis. Larger on the back of the tongue and in a V shape. Larger on the back of the tongue and in a V-shape. Larger on the back of the tongue and in a V-shape. Larger on the back of the tongue and in a V-shape. I don't know why my notes were so far from me. I was like, I can't read that far. I'm trying to strain. All right, number two, contain taste buds. So you can taste with it. So every one of these except one, uh, you can taste with. So you're gonna need to make sure you know which one of those and which one of those was it? Do you remember? Filiform, because they kind of fill up the space. Filiform, they fill up the space. They don't have the taste buds. They don't taste stuff. Okay. I don't know. Something I would tell you if we were in the class and we'd kind of make a stupid joke about it. So I'm trying to think of a stupid joke. I can't think of one. I don't know. Two guys walk into a bar, which is weird because you'd think the second guy would have saw the first guy do it. No one in the house even left of that. Mm. So, mission accomplished, dumb joke. Okay, uh, let's move on um, to, we're on the move. So we're, oh, there's circumvallate. I forgot about that. So here it is, you see that it's got this circle around it. So it's got this indentation and there's the taste bud. So you've got all our, the papilla, not the taste bud. So you see it go all the way around. So anytime you see one of um, these papillae, it's got the, circum the circumference or something surrounding it. You see these other two taste buds, they don't have it. Okay, so let's move on to big number three. This is a big three, not a three with a parenthesis, it's a big three. Big two was papillae and we wrote papillae four types. This is a big three, five basic taste sensations. Five big basic taste sensations. It was weird saying basic and sensation because I think sensation going, yeah, sensation. You are a sensation. Savannah. Savannah Jowers, the sensation of being silly. Being smart. There you go. I think, I don't know. Smart, silly, you're both. Okay. I'm just talking to myself at this point. All right, so um, once you've written five basic taste sensations, I need you to take your ghostwriter and highlight that. And then we're gonna write A, sweet, A, sweet, and then highlight that with your ghostwriter. Okay, so let's just take a look at all of them first. You've got sweet, salt, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. And umami is something, I know we, we may have talked about it when you were freshmen a little bit, um, mostly because it was probably doing something to the AP kids, those AP kids at the time. 
And so they taste umami um, and they taste it. And my AP kids are in there. You'll remember it because you got a big shot of MSG and it is like, boom. And the fact that we gave you some of it to play jokes on other people earlier this year. And to me, it's just like the salt bomb. And I guess it, it does taste proteiny, um, but oof. And for a long time, people were like, I'm allergic to MSG, I can't handle it. But it's been said that there's not as many people out there that have a problem with MSG that originally said it's something else. And so, um, I mean, if you feel like you MSG bothers you, then by all means, don't eat it. But I'll look into that a little bit deeper because it's not as scary. Or it's, and that was, it's not even really scary. It kind of gave people headaches. It's not usually that that's causing it could be though i don't know all right so under sweet you're going to put a star and you're going to say it responds to sugars these are your taste buds what they respond to star responds to sugars and certain amino acids responds to sugars and certain amino acids i'm going to change this well i kind of like this picture better responds to sugars and certain amino acids the, the next slide i don't know why i did what i did but because it's all words and being very visual, blah, 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 too much. All right, B, sour, sour. And once you've written that, take your ghostwriter and write and highlight sour. Star, responds to acidity and hydrogen ions. Responds to acidity and hydrogen ions, which is hydrogen ions and H plus. And if something's an acid, it has a hydrogen in it. And actually, when you write the chemical formula, it more than likely will have a hydrogen in front, like hydrochloric acid, which is HCl. So if you've ever vomited um, and you've gotten stomach acid, that's the, sour, the sourness you're tasting is because the hydrogen ions and the hydrochloric acid that are trying to digest your food. So, mmm, vomit. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, I'm not having you highlight other things. I'm sorry. So I need you to take your main highlighter and go back to sweet on the star. Highlight sugars and amino acids. And under sour, highlight acidity. And that leads us to little c, bitter. Bitter. Once you write that, highlight that with your ghostwriter. And you can see bitter, cocoa, coffee beans. Coffee smells so good to me. Love it. Love the smell of it. Get the coffee grounds and smell it. Mmm, smells so good. And then you taste it. Ugh, it's so bitter. I mean, you have to dump a lot of sugar and milk in there to, to want to drink it. I just never, never got used to the taste of that. So, you know, all my friends stayed up in college using coffee and I, you know, just drank my little tea. Uh, it didn't, wasn't quite as effective, but I just, oof. I don't know. I'm curious how many of you like coffee. Um, I think there was a lot of you because one time I accidentally we got a Starbucks and ooh, it was coffee. And I mean, it was like, does anyone want this? And uh, I got mobbed. So a lot of you like coffee. It is not me. All right. Bitter star responds to alkaloids. And I'll spell that response to alkaloids and alkaloids. Alkaloids is A L K A L O I D S. Response to alkaloids, parentheses, base, B A S E, close parentheses. So um, bitter is if you've ever gotten soap in your mouth, ugh, um, it kind of dries out your mouth. We had um, in the classroom, I would have had you taste alum, which some of you have. It just takes away any liquid in your mouth anymore. Um, I, one time, uh, I, I, I said something when I was a little kid and my mom washed my mouth out with soap. She just didn't wash my mouth out. She just gave me a bar of soap and, and told me to chew on it. And it was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. And, but she did watch me take at least one bite. It was terrible. So, um, anyway, Ooh, don't, don't, you know, don't do that, but it worked. I don't remember doing anything, whatever I did. I didn't do it again. I don't think, I hope not. Okay, so let me explain what an alkaloid is really quickly. An alkaloid is, um, it's, a, it's a compound that contains nitrogen that usually occurs in um, plants. And it's super, it's bitter. So you can find it in aspirin, 
um, poisons, and usually bitter tells your brain, spit this out, which is why you have a lot of these bitter receptors. And I told you there's no real spaces on the tongue where this is sour, this is salty. Bitter, however, is in the back of your tongue. There's quite a few of them. Well, they're everywhere, but there's a big concentration in the back of your tongue. Um, so if we were in class, I'd say, hey, on your whiteboards, why do you think there's a concentration of bitter on the back of your tongue, bitter sens um, senses? Um, and then I would have waited and I would hope that somebody would come up with the fact that because it's um, often associated with poisons or things that you shouldn't eat, you hit it, that's the, that's the last place so that you go, oh, spit this out. Okay. And so when you have those sour candies, it's got a lot of sour, but it's got a lot of bitter, which is why you fight. You fight with yourself not to spit this out. A lot of people, their first reaction is, oh, spit it out. And it's like, oh, you waste the candy, but you know, you can't fight nature. It's like terrible. Blah. Okay. So I want you to take your main highlighter and highlight base. And then go D, salty, little D, salty, and then take your ghostwriter and highlight it. And then put star, response to metal ions, parentheses, N-A-C-L. I'm going to change this. And you can see it down here, N-A-C-L, sodium chloride. So response to metal um, ions. So once you put sodium chloride in your mouth, the sodium and the chlorine separate and... Um, the ions, the metal ions in there stimulates your brain to go, oh, it's salty. Okay, so it's the chlorine, by the way. All right. Um, yeah. So next E is umami. Umami. And you can see it's spelled right here. And we're going to, there's gonna three things here. Number one, response to glutamate amino acid. Response to glutamate amino acid. You can see glutamate right here. Uh, number two, responsible for beef taste. And when you put beef, put that in quotes, responsible for beef taste. And three, MSG, little M, little S, or big M, big S, big G, or little M, little S, little G, it doesn't matter. And that is mono, and so M MSG, and then in parentheses, you're gonna write mono sodium glutamate. So mono and sodium, you can figure out glutamate, glutamate's right there, monosodium glutamate. And so it's a very proteiny type taste. And so when tomatoes ripen, um, they get more and more glutamate in them and you go, ooh, this really tastes good. When you, um, cheeses, as they get older, they get more glutamate in them and they taste better. And so um, and umami is a real important taste. Um, I'm going to say it's recently discovered, but it's always been there. It's just, whoa, there's something else here, and it's umami. So uh, MSG, when you taste that, a lot of kids are like, oh, it tastes, you know, I can taste beef, or uh, I can't remember some of the words that you all said, but it wasn't salty. I tasted salty, but I guess in the end, I could taste beef, like, a, like bouillon. So I don't know. All right, so number four is locations of taste on tongue. Locations of taste on tongue. Oops. Go back and with your ghostwriter, highlight umami. Then with your ghostwriter, highlight MSG. Then with your main highlighter, highlight glutamate amino acid. All right, number four, locations of taste on tongue. A, all five taste sensations are spread out throughout the tongue and mouth. All five taste sensations are spread out throughout the tongue and mouth. B, bitter receptors cluster at rear of tongue. Bitter receptors cluster at rear of tongue. And C, most taste buds respond to all five tastes. Most taste buds respond to all five tastes. So like we said, there's no place on here anymore. It's all over the tongue. We do have, it's, everything's everywhere, but there are some concentrations like bitter in the back. Um, so let's quickly talk about this. So before Wednesday, um, I'm going to upload on Tuesday at five, the lab should be there or five ish, depending on how fast I can get to it. Well, I'll be there, print it, or at least print the data and question page. What if you can't print, or maybe you want to just try this thing, get a piece of paper, copy down from the screen, copy down the data tables, copy down the questions. Yes, you have to write up the questions and then you're going to write the answer. 
um, try to write the questions in a different color pen and the data table in a different color pen. Then you write your, you're gonna write your answers in pencil. Um, so during the YouTube video Wednesday, I'm gonna go through the procedures and by Q&A, I expect you to be done with the lab. And during the Q&A, we're gonna go any questions, problems, and talk about the data. And so it's due Tuesday the 14th by 12, uh, 1230. So remember, um, submit your Q&A or submit your notes by 1230. Uh, don't forget to keep working on the, um, the coloring, which is due uh, tomorrow by 1230. And I'm available to help if you need, need be. So that is, we are finished for today, which is awesome. You did a great job, guys. I know it was a little bit longer, but woohoo, you did it. See you at the UNA.